All right, welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about one of the most powerful tools I've ever encountered for personal development. And the tool is called the routine. And by routine, I mean a, a list of steps that is written somewhere that you follow while looking at the list. And this list can be updated incrementally over time. And I've been using an app for routines for around three months now. It's called Tiny Gains, check it out. And here I want to share how my morning routine has evolved over time and the benefits that I got out of it. So let's jump into it. It all started with this very minimal routine. So first drink a coffee and then work out. One of my bad habits is that I don't drink enough water. So one of the first additions to my routine was drinking a glass of water as a very first step. Another step that I planned in very early was to always drink a protein shake after the workout. And, and here is where the fun actually began. Since I was making kind of a mess in the morning, I said, why not always make a little bit of order before I leave? And that's what I started doing. And after a few days, since I was in kind mode, I thought my girlfriend likes an orange juice at the beginning. Why don't I add it to the routine? And that's what I did. Then as I started using this app a bit more seriously, I added another few steps that I was doing anyway. So to shower, to get dressed and come here. So another thing that I've been kind of trying to control uh, in the last year or so is the amount of calories that I take. But I want to do it in a way where I don't always need to count calories, it's just part of the system that I eat the amount of calories that I need. And I have these little Tupperwares where I have sn uh, with snacks. And with my routine, I started preparing them in the morning. Another habit that I wanted to start introducing was reading more because I wasn't happy about how much I was reading, almost nothing. I tend to spend a lot of time online, on YouTube, going, going deep into certain rabbit holes, listening to podcasts, but I have been neglecting reading. So I added a new rule, which is that as soon as I leave, I have to read at least one page from some book. And obviously, often that leads to more pages being read. Then you know there are always administrative things that need to be done and, and I never had a moment for this. We used to do them in bulk during the weekend, but I thought why not just do one per day? And so that's what I did. I introduced one admin task every day. I have a little box where I add all these things, bills to pay, taxes, phone calls that I need to do, and I just pick one and do it. Recently, we even started ordering them a bit by priority. And so that's a very non-stressful way of dealing with one's administrative stuff. Another thing that was always a bit dysfunctional was that in the afternoon when I came home, I thought, ah, oh, maybe I should go uh, buy groceries, but I didn't know what I needed to buy. So I added that step, check uh, in the fridge what I need to buy. And I have my little system even there. Some things I need to check at least weekly, some things I need to check monthly and some yearly. Okay, the next one is a really interesting one. You know how sometimes you talk to someone and they say something that is re revealing to you, like uh, mind blowing or how maybe you read somewhere something and you think, oh, that's really cool. And, and it instantly changes your mindset, the way you go about things. But then obviously days pass and you forget about it. What if you were exposed to those things every day? So as to kind of reboot your brain before your day gets started. And that's what I started doing. I prepared a kind of a list of reminders, a list of sentences, attitudes and principles that I want to follow during the day. And I read them in the morning. And I have to say this list has become very dynamic. It changes a lot. Some things get old and I remove them and new things come. And it has become a way for me to think things through over days. Another thing that I realized was that during my workout time, I actually have time to listen to audiobooks. And so that's what I added here. And then believe it or not, I was educated uh, to brush my teeth once a day. And then once you have that habit, uh, you, it, it's super hard to change. But at a certain point, I had the idea, why not add another time of brushing my teeth in the morning? And since then I've been doing it. And this is again a testament to the power of this tool that one is able to change something that usually is so difficult to, to change. Second last step was after reading on the way to work to take a moment and write some notes for the video that I would do later in the, during the day. Another thing that I added today was to at work, as soon as I arrive, prepare one glass of water, which again is a way to start training this habit of drinking more water. 
So that's it for now. As you see, it's a very long list and it's still moving, still transforming. And I'm wondering whether it will ever stop, whether it will grow forever or uh, whether at a certain point it will become stable and I won't need the app anymore. I won't need to check all the steps because it ha will have become a new habit. At that moment, I will say the process will have ended and I have kind of transformed the way I start my day. On the other hand, maybe it will never stop. Maybe I will always check my phone in the morning for, for whatever the next step is. Either way, it has really been powerful. Let's recap the benefits that I got a bit. So benefit number one is that I'm way more helpful at home. I make a bit of order. I prepare the oranges. I think about groceries and so on. In general, I'm also more organized. I check my calendar in the right moments. I do administrative stuff and so on. I also have a healthier lifestyle. I have a more solid grasp on my eating, on my drinking and on my hygiene. And another thing that has improved is uh, media consumption. Since I always used to listen to YouTube videos on the way home and on the way to work, now I actually spend some of that time reading and taking notes and being more creative. Plus I'm listening to audiobooks, which I never managed to do before. And then finally, I have some habits in place to have a better mindset, which through the reminders that I read every morning and that I kind of adapt during the day when I have new insights or ideas. And I think that's also really valuable. So that's it for today. Let me know if you try this out and what kind of outcomes you get. And we'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Bye.